I got my apron on. I'm ready, and we're so glad you're with us and that you're ready. Y'all know Rich. Yeah. He's he's here to give us a cooking lesson. Yes. But first, Rich, I have a joke for you. Uh-oh. This is trouble. What happens when the fog lifts in Los Angeles? I don't know. UCLA. LA, uh. <laughs> Go Bruins! It's one of my many alma maters. One of so. your many alma maters. <laughs> my only. Uh, well, Rich, I happen to know that you are married to a great cook, Miss Emily. Yep, that's, but you, that's a problem. I, it really is. Yeah. No, it's a problem for all of us. Her dumplings are phenomenal. They are good. Um, but you actually have one of your own specialties, and you're showing us today, and we're super yes. grateful because we love finding these little things out about the people we know and see on TV every day. Yeah, well, actually, I love to cook, but she cooks so well, and I have to fight with Why her. Why bother? Why bother? I mean, seriously, I've given up the ghost. Though she loves my chicken Kiev, so she does let me make that. And a few other recipes I get to make once in a while. So. Well, let's get started on the Kiev because okay. I'm hungry already. I know it's only 11. It's yes. about lunchtime. But it smells good. I mean, just the it's bubbling the, butter is good. Just the bubbling good. butter yeah. is amazing. Yeah. So how do we start making this dish? Well, how do we start making it? The first thing you have to do is some breading, of course. Okay. And, you know, I don't know how real chicken Kiev is made. This is just a, it was a recipe I found back a long time ago, it was in a Heart Healthy book, believe it or not. Really? Okay. Well, I substitute a few more. That was back when they still told you to eat margarine. So, and I like butter, so I put <laughs> butter in. So, yeah. I didn't want it to be too healthy. Well, you know, of I don't want to live forever. So, Obviously, you know, I got, but so, you are going Anyway, to. so we have to bread this puppy. So, okay. basically, you can either use, you know, just uh, the purchased breadcrumbs, or if you've got extra bread, you can, of course, put in a food processor and make it that way. Depends on what's available. All right. And so, you basically have your breadcrumbs. You add a little bit of basil, about a teaspoon of basil oh, okay. or so there and oregano, sprinkle that puppy around there, and really about a half teaspoon or so of salt. So and you can grab the store-bought breadcrumbs and, and zhuzh it up a little. Yeah, yeah that's, okay. basically, that's basically what this is. I mean, it, I really like easy recipes too. I'm not into heavy chemistry when you get right down to it. And then we do have a little bit of garlic we put in oh, here. Oh, you put up that the, in the breadcrumbs, yeah. the garlic. Yeah, it's part of the breading I itself. Like it. And then you, And you eat it and you're done. So that's, those are bad days when you do that. But, <laughs> but you have to add the butter to it. That's the shortcut. The shortcut okay. is adding the butter adding to Adding the butter directly to it. So we do this. And now we've got to uh, get this guy into get the chicken in there. All right. Yeah, handle that chicken. I'm wearing my so apron you, made for me by yes, Joyce Taylor, so you dip, I might yeah, add. Dip it into there. I know. It's a, it's, we were just talking about an amazing She's seamstress so she is. She is remarkable. She really is. All right. I've got, the I've got lots of butter on okay. this chicken. Well, and that is the point after all. Okay. All right. So... Better is Get the it in with there. The, yeah, lots of breading on it. I mean, the breading, good thing about the breading with the sauce we're going to put on it later on, and what attracted me to this was the fact that it, my mother used to make a fried chicken, which unfortunately I never got the recipe for oh, before no. she died. And I always loved the, you know, the breading and what was left over after the chicken was pulled out of the, the pan. Yeah. And it just, this comes as close when you cook it. I tend to overcook it when I'm cooking and just for myself. So I can get more of the. I could just skip the chicken. Yeah. And put the other stuff in there, and it would be it would be ter perfectly fine for me. Um, this is one of those things that I think is so great because it is easy, um, and it is something that you can do. But the the things that intimidate me most are sauces, and I know there's a sauce with this. So please. Oh, but it's a, such a simple sauce. Is it? Well, we have to. We have to. Uh, you're doing a, but you're doing a great job in the breading. It's By impressive. the way, I'm a really messy cook, so you're, don't ever let well, me no, cook but in your house. Well, no, but that's part of being a good cook, though, is oh, being messy. You okay. know, you got to spread it around. You, you don't want to be too exacting. No, exactly. Okay. Oh, get that nice So you're breading. making medicines, you should be exacting, but you're cooking never. So. Never, never. So, uh, we got to chop up some green onions. Okay, I can do that. Like a tablespoon of green onions over there or so. Somebody was but asking no. if we had a first aid kit here. Was yeah. that your wife? No, actually, it was Shante yesterday. Oh. She, <laughs> she cut her finger or something was asking if the first aid kit. Oh. So. Well, I got this. I Hopefully, I won't. Actually, that's a that's a daunting knife. I know. There, it's not very sharp, though, yeah. unfortunately. Um, so I'm getting the onions yeah. cut up. Now what? So once those are cut up, we'll throw them into the melted butter we have over here. Okay. It's like a half stick of butter. You can never have too much butter. Here's a question yeah. about uh, green onions or ch chives or whatever you want to call them. Do you do all the way up to the top? Uh, or do you just actually, do Actually, I the, do. I really do? usually do. Yeah. Oftentimes, okay. I just use the top part because it's, it's prettier, I think. I think it's prettier, the, too. I like to use butter. it as a, you know, a... Almost yeah, a decor sometimes. I mean, I love I love onions. Let's see, do we have anything? Can I, I can stir it around with this? This would be okay. Yeah, this fine. won't melt. It's not gonna melt. Yes, yes. I won't I won't scratch your nonstick pan. Either. <laughs> Don't Just, scratch mine. It's my new yes, pan. I, I have been I have had my hand slapped away for doing that. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. so butter and onions. Anything else? Butter and onions, and of course wine. Oh, well, uh, naturally. Naturally. This is Rich's Kiev, after all. So. A moment here. Let me Actually, if it was really your kid, oh wait a minute, I put it, it in the gin. wrong thing. I was going to measure that. Just oh. <laughs> you want to be sure it hasn't gone bad. Oh, you know? obviously. You know? Do you, would you like to? Oh, of course. That's, you know, I want to make sure it's 
Mm, Nothing better know, first thing in the morning. It. It's a breakfast wine. You can use any breakfast wine actually for this recipe. Mm. Be better if it were chilled though. <laughs> you know, after we finish the bottle, we won't care. That's oh, wait. true. <laughs> That's, this uh, is true. You know, looking at ourselves on the monitor, it makes me think, I think this is like leave it to beaver the way we're dressed cooking, I know. you know? Yes. Well, I didn't want to get butter oh, on June. my fancy coat. June, you, know? you look marvelous today. Oh, Rich, Seriously. Thank you. I have to go read the paper and smoke my pipe now. Is <laughs> that okay? I'll bring you your cocktail. So, okay, let's see. Well, I've lost track now. <laughs> a, after one sip of wine, that's that's really sad. Oh. Here we go. So, All right, so a, uh, half a cup of wine, you said? Half send? a cup of wine, roughly, and throw that in there. So it's, okay. it's pretty easy. So what you do is you can make, the, I mean, it doesn't take any time to make this, but you can uh, make this. Let me this, because I don't ahead. want you to scratch my pants. Okay. I'm kidding. Oh. So I was how, very gentle before. I know you're very gentle. How long do you? How long does it so take for the, this to thicken up? The chicken, well, it, it doesn't really have to thicken up because oh, okay. what you do is you the chicken cooks for about say 40, 45 minutes. Depends on how thick it is. Okay. And then once it's pretty much done, then you pour this sauce over it in the oven and cook it for another 10 minutes or so. Oh, or okay, if, dokey. And and then it. it crisps everything up and it has a great little crust that you can eat around the sides and usually Ooh. when the rest of my family isn't looking I'll go in and I will scrape every little teeny bit of the that's oh, left yeah. in the pan out and eat that. I'm gonna, so, the chicken fat is after all. Okay so mm. I have never had this and I've been to your house for multiple parties because let me Oops. tell you this he throws epic yes. parties. Oh, sometimes yeah. See yeah. there you are in your <laughs> traditional coconut attire. Oh that's true yes I was I coconut actually, I, I love that picture. It's, it was a summer. That's an exciting thing in itself. Yeah, yeah. summer is the I, best part. A real quick story. So we're having a party one time. It's the first time Mimi and Jung had come to one of our parties. Yeah. And I was standing at the counter fixing a, a cocktail of some sort. And she comes into the kitchen. And I turn around and, face, and she looks at me and she says, Oh my. And I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> I so, love it. But through the magic of television, we have somewhere around here. Don't look now. Avert your vision. Okay, there we go. So we've got these, we got and we're these. actually going to try right these. Here. We're going to make you stick around and finish mm. the bottle with me. I mean, just the oh, glass. Yeah. Oh, it's um, you're going to finish the wine, and you're also actually sharing this recipe online. Online, yes. So, so. basically what he was just going to show you now is that you're just going to pour the sauce pour over the, the sauce ones over that are already baked, and right. then you got to put it back in put the oven. Put it back in the oven. Okay. Right. So it's pretty easy. All right, we're getting very saucy here, oh, and we're going to oh, get oh, to oh, this oh. saucy chicken when we get back.